Taking control of our thoughts. Retrain your mind. When we think of the busiest places on the earth, we may think of the marketplace or an airport. But none of these places can compare in terms of activities like the human mind. It can understand complex information within seconds, remember different things, make complex associations, or instantly bring up many memories. The mind can sort through so much while speaking quietly on the inside. Above all, we can hold invisible conversations without any outward expression on the outside. Having that mental dialogue within ourselves, reflecting and reasoning internally, is one of the reasons why the human mind remains unmatched. These internal conversations can be positive or negative. Of course, when our thoughts are positive, they can motivate us to go towards the right actions. And when our thoughts are negative, they suddenly suck the life out of us. We are constantly having conversations in our minds about our lives, whether we realize it or not. Still, we must move from thinking about anything that comes into our minds to consciously dwelling and meditating on positive thoughts. It is these thoughts that become the silent words that we have chosen to speak to ourselves daily. Good speaking in our minds can lead to intense praise and an appreciation for the goodness of the Lord, while the wrong way of speaking to ourselves can cause pain. David, who was a man after God's heart, Shine some light on this topic. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan, and of the Hermonites, from the hill Mizar. Psalm chapter 42, verses 5 and 6. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm chapter 103 verses 1 to 5 This was a great King David talking to himself on two different occasions. At one, he felt dejected. In the other scripture, his heart is rising in joy. What a person says to himself is a reflection of the state of the heart. Some have spoken lies to themselves, only to realize that self-deceit would lead nowhere. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. Luke chapter 12 verses 16 to 21 His self-absorbed, adverse, and proud meditations led to his destruction. This happened because he removed the owner of his soul from the equation as he spoke to himself. This is why we need to talk to ourselves based on the word of God because it only enhances our lives in the long run. After all, we are choosing to think in line with our Maker. The power of our mind is beyond understanding, yet we can't deny its ability to do marvelous things. This is because its potentials are enormous. 
So when we submit it to the power of the Holy Spirit, so much that is good can be birthed. When our minds are positively influenced, they can become the primary source of our motivation, decisions, and actions. Scriptures give us examples of people who tapped learning to think right, silently speaking to themselves till they were directed into supernatural happenings. They spoke about the things that would bless their lives till they received divine intervention. Number 1. David and his victory over the Amalekites When David tried to escape from the harassment of Saul, he relocated to the land of the Philistines with about 600 of his men. Achish, the king of the Philistines, gave him the city of Ziklag to dwell in. However, while on a military trip, the Amalekites overran Ziklag and razed it to the ground, carrying away families left behind as captives. When David and his men returned and saw what had happened, they were heartbroken. So the men took out their frustration on David, and that was when he decided to speak to himself. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south, and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag, and burned it with fire, and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept, until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam the Jezreelitess, and Abigail the wife of Nabal the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. 1 Samuel chapter 30 verses 1 to 6 Saying the right things to ourselves is one of the surest ways to succeed and be different from the prevalent negative attitude of others. Speaking positive words to ourselves from within infuses us with inner strength. We believers can do this by praying or recalling amazing testimonies from the past. As we focus on the incredible power of God to intervene on our behalf, despite how adverse the circumstances may be, we will only smile in victory, because God is still in charge, and He is unfailing. Remembering the past helps us cement our victories, as we are assured that the same power will manifest in our current situation. Speaking rightly to ourselves on the inside will strengthen our inner man and take away doubts. Even if the devil suggests all kinds of lies, we must remain completely focused on God's word and his unfailing promises. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, 
and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah chapter 41 verses 9 to 16 Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 and 6 These words give courage and peace to our hearts, and strengthen us to soar to victory. Number 2. The Woman with the Issue of Blood Our next example is of someone who spoke to herself and was blessed for it. The Bible simply refers to her as the woman with the issue of blood. She had become so afflicted that her disease became her identity. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. Mark chapter 5 verses 25 to 31 and 33 to 34. What audacious faith! Her determination and faith that was within brought her healing when she met Jesus. He felt virtue leave him because of her faith. Number 3. The Prodigal Son The young man who was famous for making a mess of his life, but repented and returned home, learned how to speak to himself. The Bible notes that he came to a moment of self-realization and spoke words to himself. This was what became the springboard for his life. He could come back on track because he spoke the truth to himself. And he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me, and he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there rose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine, and he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him, and had compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 20. So many situations will confront us as we journey through life. But if we can hold on to the Lord and build strength by meditating on His Word or speaking to ourselves, we will live as conquerors.